Hi everyone! So this video is going to be a little bit different because it's going to be about something called hypersensitization therapy, which is basically, um, let's say anti-allergy treatment, I would just say. Um, so yeah, it's because I suffer from lots of allergies. Um, Oh god, I think it's like three different trees and some plants and also a little bit of cat allergy. And I did an allergy test um, in the beginning of last year, I believe. Because uh, in the past three years or something, my allergy has just been getting worse and worse. Um, I didn't suffer from that when I was a child, but at some point it just started and it just became worse and worse every year. And um, it got to the point where I really have trouble breathing and need to take like allergic asthma spray basically. And the doctor said that I should probably get that checked out and do some kind of treatment because it could lead to um, allergic asthma in the long run, which I try to avoid because um, I, I, I don't want to have asthma, which is probably understandable if I can avoid it. Um, so yeah. Basically, I did the allergy test and then um, I had some issues with that doctor, so I went to another doctor. Um, and there's three different versions of hypersensitization treatment that I know of. So you can take a solution, which is just like a few drops, um, with a, I think it's called a squelange, like these squeezy things. And you can also take pills, which I'm not really a friend of, so I decided against that immediately. And you can take something like a flu shot, basically, or like a vaccination. But you have to take that every single month. And you have to like wait at the doctor for an hour and all of that. Um, and I didn't really want to do that because the whole treatment takes about three years. And having to go to the doctor three years in a row every single month is something I, I would be bound to basically be staying here for the next few years. And I don't know if that is something feasible. So um, I decided against that as well. And I decided for the solution stuff, where I just have to take five drops in the morning. And as I said, my allergy symptoms, I couldn't breathe. Um, my nose was running. Um, I had like a sore throat, basically. My eyes were always itching and red and tearing up. So it was really bad last year. And um, if you if you do this hypersensitization stuff, you also have allergy symptoms because it's basically like microdosing um, pollen into your body like a bit every single day so that your body builds up a certain resistance against them. And yeah, uh, so I'm taking these drops every single morning and when I started out at the doctor, it was just like a little bit itchy, scratchy in my throat, nothing too crazy, and that was it for the past, uh, for the first few days. And then it went to my eyes, so my eyes were itching. Um, I never really had anything with my nose, but then it became really crazy because my tongue began to swell up. And it's not really like the, the upper, like the actual tongue part, it's like underneath the tongue where your tongue is connected to like the rest of your mouth, to the palate and everything that part was swelling up and it is a really weird feeling to drink or eat something with that kind of like swollen tongue it went away after half an hour to 45 minutes every like every day but it was kind of annoying um i think it settled down after about two or two and a half weeks and only happens occasionally now um, but it was really weird and apart from that, yeah, like scratchy throat, all of that, but that's like, okay, it's not really anything too crazy. Um, and sparkling water tastes a little bit different. I can't explain what changed about the taste. It's just, it's just different. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is also a thing that, um, I encountered and... Normal water is fine, it's just the sparkling stuff. I think there's something like with the with the gas in there that's reacting or whatever. Um, yeah, that's it. And since these symptoms have also eased up now, 
I hope that in the coming allergy season that I won't be having as much trouble as I did last year. But like, I'm only starting out. It's been about two months now that I've taken these drops. And um, yeah, I still have over two and a half more years to go. But like, if that is actually helping, then that's good. Um, the solution I'm taking now is only containing three of these like tree pollen that I'm allergic against because we only started out with these, um, with this solution, because they are really expensive. And if you, for whatever reason, have a bad reaction against these drops, then of course you, you can't take them anymore and you need to fill out the bottle. And since they're expensive, you shouldn't get like five different bottles um, of that solution and just throw them all away. So I would probably be starting out with the cat allergy treatment next. Um, I'm not really allergic to like every single cat. It's just like a general allergy. It depends on the cat and it's not really hard. But um, since I want to have a cat in the future, I'm just getting rid of that as well. And then I also need to add in the other free tree or a leaf or a plant pollen that I'm allergic against. And then I should be sad. Um, yeah, so it's nothing too serious, nothing too crazy. It's just like taking these drops every single day and that's totally fine. You can't eat or I think 10 to 15 minutes after that so that they like do what they're supposed to do by themselves. But yeah, as I said, that's that's totally fine. And I didn't have any like major issues with that. Um yeah, that's basically all I can say about that. So if you have also done this treatment, you can just leave your experiences down below. Or maybe if you are taking the pills or doing the shots, then leave those experiences in the, dis uh, in the description, in the comment section. And yeah, it's just an insight into what the treatment has been like for me so far. And maybe in three years, I can do a video or so saying basically, oh my god, I'm cured, or... um. It didn't work, but I'm trying because it's just something that I'm doing for me and doing to prevent getting allergic asthma in the future and having to take an asthma spray every single day, which my father has to do. Um, and since I don't want that, I'm just going to take the drops for three years. Okay, bye.